All right, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm making a mini maple to put on my Beltane row altar. And I have some ribbon here of different colors. And uh, I have um, just a couple of pe a piece of tape that I'm going to be using. I'll show you why. I have a few pieces of um, some sticks that I'm going to be using here. And uh, I also have um, a clear quartz crystal that I'm going to be using as well. And I have a piece of um, a grapevine that I allowed to dry after I harvested my grapes last year and I pruned. This is a piece of the grapevine that I saved. So I'm going to be using this to make a, a mini maple that will go on my Beltane altar. So I'm going to be continuing to put together my built-in altar here and um, I've got a few things that I just made this beautiful um, mini maple and there's a video that shows you how I did that. I collected some flowers from outside. These are fresh flowers, fresh wildflowers and I also have some gemstones that I'm going to be using as well as, well as some dried herbs and some candles that I'm going to be pulling in. So I'm going to show you what I did there. Hi everybody, I just wanted to share with you the Beltian altar that I created. I mentioned it in a, pre a previous video and I can post a link to that uh, below or in the video as well. But what I have here is just a Beltian, simple Beltian altar. I've got some candles. A couple of them have not been lit because I plan to light those tonight during the Beltian ritual that I'll be doing. But this one here just simply says good vibes and we have some crystals and built in is a time of rebirth basically you're going to be you know really getting into all of those goals that you you want to be setting and actually getting your work done um, winter is over the dormancy is over it's now time to really get going and getting busy doing your projects or whatever goals you have set so the every that's why you see my altar is red it's a time um, it indicates passion uh, creativity those kinds of things so that's why I've, I've got a lot of red used in my altar to do the tablecloth all I did was I took a runner and I simply cut it in two and I placed both halves together and here are the crystals that I've got are red jasper 
I also have carnelian. I've got two pieces of citrine. Um, this is peacock ore. And then I have a nice big chunk of honey calcite. And just for being cute, I put a little dragonfly charm right there. I also have some um, potpourri, which is made from apples, apple and cinnamon scented. And I have got a, a red candle in the middle. I also have a couple more red candles towards the back that I have not yet lit, but those will be lit tonight. I have some wildflowers that I picked from my backyard that are sitting in some water. And I also have another, um, these ones are not real, these are artificial flowers, but they're here in honor and memory of uh, those who may have died or are currently suffering from lupus. Because May 1st is the beginning of Lupus Awareness Month, so I wanted to um, put that in there as well. Uh, this is a mini maypole that I made and I, there's a video that shows you how I made that as well and at the tip of it there is a uh, clear quartz which will also amplify the energies of the other crystals that are there. Also I have some dried herbs of rosemary and we know that rosemary is the herb of memory and Shakespeare actually referenced this quite a bit in many of his of his plays. In the background is a painting that I created recently and I thought that it would be perfect as the backdrop for my Beltian altar because to me she is an earth goddess. There's a lot of red in there and I thought it would be perfect for, for this Beltian altar that I created. I hope you like it. Um, please go ahead and just give me some feedback in the comments below. If you celebrate Beltane, um, what, do, what do you normally do as far as a, a ritual is concerned? Do you do any rituals? Do you light a bonfire? Tonight I'm going to be lighting a bonfire in my backyard. A small one, <laughs> um, but a, a fire nonetheless in um, celebration of Beltane. So this is my Beltane altar. Just wanted to share that with you. Thank you for watching this video. If you're not a supporter as yet, I would really love it if you click that red subscribe button and join the family as well as the notification bell. And that way you will not miss any more of the great content that I will be posting. Please like, share, all of the above. And I will see you again soon.